Katia, we told you about the Apollo space competition in, in which millions of hopefuls from all across the world competed in different challenges from skydiving to nausea-inducing vomit comets, all in the hopes of being one of the astronauts that will be on the Apollo spaceship that is going to go into space for that one ticket to go into space. And we have the man Yay. here who's representing South Africa, Mr. Manda Maseko. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morena. Yes, Look at I'm good, how are you? No, very good, bro. Yes. Very, very good. shake my hand too. Yes, man. Uh, so excited. Okay. You, you want to touch that hand because that hand is going to be in outer no, space. No, you know what's even better? Look at his outfit. The first thing I said to Manda this morning was, oh, you're wearing a onesie. Please get up. Please stand up. Show everyone across South Africa. Look, That's it's a, a onesie. Popper. With uh, so many zips and whatnot. Sit down, sit down. Let's, you, let's have a chat you. about this. It's always been a dream of yours to go into outer space. So, so when you won this competition, it must have been a dream come true. What, what is that feeling like? You know, um, knowing that I was announced one of the 23 finalists that will be launching into space, it was an amazing feeling, you know. Um, it, it was an, an out-of-body experience. So, yeah. My <laughs> goodness. goodness. I, I, I have to ask, are you petrified as a singer? No, not really. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm, more, I'm more than looking forward to it than being petrified. So, yeah. So you get sent to the States, and now you've won the competition, but now there's still a lot of preparation that needs to go in. There's tests, there's training. Yes, Take us through that last leg when you were in uh, Cape Canaveral. Uh, what, what was happening there? Okay, we went for the, local, for the global space camp where we had to do your vigorous challenges, which was the G-force, the flight simulation, you know, the zero G flight, all those things. The Zulu yeah. G flight? The zero G oh, flight. Zero. zero G flight. How many times did you throw up? Zulu. No. <laughs> How many times did you throw up in that? Because like, they, they put you in that thing that spins around, then you're like, yeah. I, I, I didn't throw up. I'm a die kid at the end of the day. So I didn't throw up. <laughs> he didn't say that. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, obviously, so, so do, do you feel like you, you're ready? I mean, we're seeing some of the simulations yes, uh, that, that have been, you know, obviously taped in the past. So stuff like that, all to get your body ready. Yes, sir. And it pushes you to the limit, you know. Mm -hmm. If ever you don't have that X factor, then you won't make it. So I guess I had that X factor. X factor. Boom! <laughs> you just said it. Boom. Just said okay. It. When are you leaving? Who's joining you? Uh, they're still building the Linux Mark II, so as soon as they're done with the cockpit pressure tests, they will have... <laughs> I can't believe you're saying this, oh my word. You're yeah. going into space. Okay, yes, sure. no, they will summon me to come and be faced with six to eight weeks of training, yeah. which where I'll be doing the mission tactics course, uh, your L-39, uh, Albatross jet, the G centrifuge. Yeah. So all those things, J six to eight. Astronaut. <laughs> Basically, it's a, a detailed training that ensures that you are fully equipped for your space expedition. We are so proud of you. All this happening in 2015. 2015. So that means now, and Husimula Noya now until next year. Akona Magwenya, no chicken copy. You must just be on have healthy you, have diets you seen and whatnot. Hey? Have you seen his boat? Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's lean. Old. He's lean. So, so tell me, when you go into into outer space, what's going to be happening there? Like you, you talk about mission strategy. What's, what are yes. you going to be no. doing there? Well, the. They plan to make this as a commercial flight. So I'm part of the Future Generation Astronaut Program. Mm -hmm. So uh, my flight will take off on a normal runway. In less than three minutes, it has to be in outer space, um, 338,000 feet above ground level, and then come back for the re-entry, and then for the glide, and then it lands. So the whole process from taking off and landing, it takes up to an hour. Wow. Are you allowed to take selfies? Sorry, I just want to say that. I know. Take a camera. Hoping. Take a photo. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Listen, one last question. Yes, How do you tell your boss, uh, listen, I'm not coming into work, I'm going to space? <laughs> what did you do before all of this? Uh, I, I did nothing. I, I was unemployed. <laughs> wow. I was unemployed. I couldn't go to school because of certain issues. But yeah, this opportunity presented itself to me through the ex Apollo Space Academy. Absolutely amazing, brilliant. amazing, amazing. Uh, our, our, Mandla, wow. one, of our, yeah, one of our first South African astronauts to go into outer space, Mr. Mandla Maseko. We can't wait to hear about all your adventures. Please bring back many photos and tell us about the experience when you come back. Yeah. Don't watch Gravity, just as a <laughs> side note. We'll be back after the break.